So we have the K5 plow for the CF Moto 1000. Um, this is a 54 inch. And uh, with the hardware back here in this box to fit this quad, the 800s and the 1000s. And uh, let's open her up here. So which one is open right on this side? Yeah. Shot. That's the hardest thing. Is like, let's you know do something really yeah. awkward and actually get in the shot too. Oh, oh, pretty legit. Look at that. That's solid as shit. Oh, uh, nice. So, made in USA. They're calling this the Pro S. I don't even think I noticed that on the uh, description. You have your scraper blade. Came with a little hardware on this box. Got a few of those welds here. So this one has your push tubes, meaning it's gonna connect to the bracket on the frame, connect to the quad or the plow rather, and you will have your adjustability with like rotation, 25 degrees each side with your little pin. Six areas, one, two, three, four, five, six, three on each side. First impressions are like really good. Look at how thick this is. What would you say that's like quarter inch? Yeah, it's quarter. And then we got some really nice tubing here. So this is totally worth the money. These are the shoes that come with the plow. They're super heavy duty. We have two massive springs. I mean, for a quad plow, this is like overkill, but it, it's good stuff. You have two massive springs, and then your two shoes. Um, this is going to attach in different orientations, and you could attach your winch hook to this. Like, this is where you attach the winch hook. You got the hardware for the shoes here. More bushings, I, I think. Okay, so it's a one per bag. Each bag is for just one. And then we have this hardware here. Uh, it's got all labeled, super heavy duty. Everything. You don't need all these, so adjust it as needed, they say. They say like the ideal angle, this should be off. Like if this is the road, my finger should just be lifted up a, a little bit. So it should be like right there. So when you, you know, do all the adjusting with the springs and whatnot, <clears throat> not, we're not out there yet. Like gas, I'm using a gas can as like a little, a little clip uh, holder, so it smells pretty potent. Gas is so disgusting, bro. Going EV, man. Getting an EV quad, getting an EV everything. She ain't going nowhere. Yeah, that's way too much. You can see right there. Oh, I'm gonna take a bushing off. It should be angled back like, like that and have the scraper blade. So that's just like, you know, if you're gonna be doing some crazy, that's just way too much. At least they give you extra, that's nice. We're gonna attach the plow 
to the actual push bars. You have multiple different options for the uh, mounting position, but the directions say what they think is the best and you know, you could adjust as necessary. And um, this came in actually a day later, the mounting plate for underneath the quad. This came in just today where the big pieces, two boxes, one for the plow and the push bars, they came yesterday. So if you order this, they might send that out first and you know, the this, this smaller piece, it comes in one smaller box, might come after. So something I'd be aware of. I had confidence in the company, but they, they messaged it and actually gave me a different tracking number that told me about that, where that was going to, where, where that was, so, that's good. Alright, let's put this uh, plow on here, and then we will mount that, but um, came with like CF Moto specific mounting directions, so that was nice. So with the um, attachment for the winch hook, you have three spots. You could do this in the front or back here, flipped upwards or backwards. But this is gonna have less of an angle coming off the winch. So you just gotta take the top left and right carriage bolt that's already on there for the pivot mechanism. And uh, just put that there. So now I'm going to adjust the spring tension a little bit and then get the main plate mounted. And that just attaches to the push bars with these, so it's like a kind of quick connect, disconnect, that could stay on the quad. And you could just pop that off when you're not using it, so it's pretty cool. I might have to retrofit the uh, skid plates to fit around here, but it's just plastic, you can just cut it. Okay, so to install the bottom plate, we're gonna take off each side of the footwell uh, skid plate. Actually, um, when I reinstalled these a couple months ago, I forgot the one little bushing, so that was, hopefully I'll find out where it goes. Okay, so you got four of the same size bolts on each uh, footwell skid plate. It's a 10 millimeter. And the uh, mount is gonna actually mount to one of these subframe bolts, two of these on each side. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think you need to take off the uh, center one. Keep the running board skid plates on the same side as they were removed. Spin both skid plates 180 degrees to allow clearance for plow mount. So, I guess if we flip them around, it'll give it clearance. One, two, and then three, four uh, for the mounting position. So let's get this. It's going to give something like... Yeah, you don't gotta take off the center one. Oh, it's so solid, it's crazy. I'm gonna go on the other side and uh, do the same thing.
And now's a good time to maybe clean this under here, spray some more silicone, um, or let, uh, what do you call it, the uh, oil-based spray to protect the, uh, the steel. I might do that after I put this on. It's pretty messy stuff though, and it smells weird. Yeah, okay, so that one is 13 mil. 13 millimeter. And on one, two, each side. Kind of squeeze it there and that seems to work out. Because the uh, skid plate's pushing down on it a little bit. It's nothing a little muscle can't fix. <sighs> Yeah, you just flip it around. Or is that the way it already was? Either way, line up the holes, and put in your skid plate. There it is all mounted. Looks pretty damn clean to me. And then all you gotta do is pull the quad up to these and lift it up and you know, quick attach. Yeah, it looks like different options here, two options. Um, yeah, it's super nice and attach the winch and you're good to go. All right, so line it up a bit and you just lift it up in between here. Gotta maneuver the quad and keep the plow where you want it. There's one. There's two, baby. That's it. Shove your engine on here, but I'm just gonna do a little bit. Nice. Yeah, that angle is way better for your your winch. It's a little extra work, but you can see how it's it's not coming 90 degrees down. So sweet. And then I'll do a fine adjustment with the spring so it's the blades touching but not like hardcore. You know, simple stuff. I'm so excited to try this out. So I'll get some video of that uh, probably in the next video. So, cheers.